to end the beginner class. So we'll get started. First off is Tracy Kinklenberg with Welcome. We want to learn from all of you. We want to learn from all of you to a special program tonight. There are thousands of poems that are not there to we try to do it right. Next up is by Jonathan Hanning. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 they get the reward. Merry Christmas. <laughs>
Father Chairman George Bush's financial system at the end of the now we have two more songs, Happy Birthday Jesus and Merry Christmas.
you know how it is. The boys don't like to dress in front of the girls when we first <laughs> our boys to get down in there. Um, before we start, I'd like to introduce you to our, the characters in our play. So I think I'll start over on this side. Sitting right up front, you can come and stand right here so I can see you. This is Jody and today, and she is a stronger girl doll. You can turn around and show them your outfits if you want Jody was the star of an August wedding. <laughs> okay, take me. This is Katie Plant. She just came in from Wyoming tonight for the show. <laughs> and she's going to be our cowgirl. <laughs> Stephanie? Stephanie is an angel sent from above. Sent here to give us greetings of the Lord's love tonight. <laughs> Amy? This is our this is our mini Mary tonight. Yeah. Tracy Tinklenberg. Dana. There she comes. <laughs> this is Dana Tinklenberg and Tracy. And these girls are ballerinas straight off of Broadway in New York City. <laughs> Sarah. Daddy coaches B squad basketball. This is his mini cheerleader, Sarah Russell. This is the next star slugger on the Ely baseball team, Jay Russell. Annie. This is our raggedy Annie in our play tonight, Ellie Richards. Mono the Clown, <laughs> always at your service, always at your service. <laughs> Craig Collins had his first hockey game yesterday and he forgot to get trained, changed for the, for the morning. <laughs> this is Wild Willie Ryder, Jamin today. <laughs> Myron, would you get the piano bench and put it in the piano? That's very doctor. Kelly? Kelly? I'm Kelly Weisinger. This is our young football team in training. Ronald R. Robot. Corey Weisinger. This is our sidekick from, from Ely. Just got off his horse. Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I know who tried to see. <laughs> Jennifer. <laughs> Jennifer is our good night baby. Complete with cabbage patch feet. <laughs> Jennifer Black. <laughs> Johnny. This is the Garden Lake Volunteer Fire Department Chief, Johnny Wessel. Tari and Mandy Schumann, dressed in blue and white, chicken blue streaks, chilies. <laughs> Raggedy Ann in miniature, this is Beth Plan, and this is Mary Lou Retton's baby sister, Annie. And this is anyone else? Our camouflage duck hunter of the year. Billy Plant. Star of the show is yet to come, but you'll recognize her by your walk and by her style. Sam Roberts, and we love her dearly.
people who you know real well and some you've never seen. Show just a birthday party, then an anniversary. Here, let me read it to you and see what you think. 
three nights before Christmas, and all through the store, a quiet hush settled over the floor. With the shoppers gone home and the owners departed, it gave the appearance the holiday had started. Well, it started for most, that is, but not for old Mr. McDuff. He sure didn't feel much that way. Absolutely the worst time of the entire year. And each one begins sooner and ends later than the one before. What? My crazy neighbor doesn't even take down his decorations anymore. You wait and see. Next year, they'll be marked as a single devil on the 4th of July. <laughs> Look at this mess. Everybody pushing and shoving like a bunch of crazy people. I tell you, I'll sure be glad when it's all over. Just makes double work for me. Oh, I'm so tired, I can't see straight. Oh, I think I'll just sit these old tired bones down for a spell. Oh, I think I'll just close my eyes. Just for a minute. Just.
a small wooden trough that they used to put the food in the, in the hay for the animals. I have to go to the basket Oh, Mr. McDuff, don't you wish you could have came this one? Oh, you can't say that I'm going to go to the
determination of these stories makes up? No, Ron. <coughs> I think it's just the beginning, at least for me. How do you mean? Well, Annie, for all these years I've been looking for Christmas. And tonight, for the first time, I think I found it. See, I've been looking for Christmas in, in people and in presents and stuff like that. But when I couldn't find it, I decided not to care. But now I understand that Christmas was there all the time. Wrapped in those tiny strips of cloth and lying in a manger. Jesus wasn't born to give the world a big celebration. He was born so that we could know peace and forgiveness. He was born for me. When I think, hear that story of that child, so holy, meek and mild, born on Christmas Day, born in love, the cat and the sheep, some hay on which to sleep, no other place to stay. When I think he came here just to die for my sins, knowing I would take so long to see all the love and kindness on its face, the wonder of his grace, that he was born for me, that Jesus could be born for me.
hair flew away like the down of a thistle. <laughs> and her flame had walked out of sight. Thank you. 